Hello, welcome to How to Play Tomodaka, a game for two to three players. Now this game you can actually make yourself. Uh, here's everything that you'll need. But if you don't actually want to do all that work, hey, no problem. Just email the same creators of Jim Rummy. This is their website, or excuse me, their email address. They do not quite have this on their website yet, but if you email them, I'm sure if they have another copy, they will be able to sell it to you. So you have three actions on any turn. You can either take a chip, give a chip, or pay a chip. Now, the concepts of these three actions will be explained in the video. So, depending on the number of players is going to depend on when the game ends. A two-player game ends after two rounds. Each player gets a chance to start the round. And a three-player game will end after three rounds. So, the setup is you're taking your chips out of the bag and you're placing them on the three white circle circular spaces on the board um, and you each have your pawns on the dark circles to signify the start of your turn. Now at the start of the turn player one decides to use the give action he goes ahead and moves his pawn off and gives a piece to either the player two or player three it's his choice as far as who he gives it to. Now in his uh, next turn he goes ahead and uh, does the same action now when his turn comes up again he's going to be able to take two chips which he does then somebody gives him a blue one player two gave him a blue one so player one gives player two decides to take his two chips player three gives and now player one takes two chips these are the three actions uh, that occur you could also take a chip from your inventory uh, place it down uh, when it when you've already given a chip away and that way the next turn you can take three so it's somewhat of a more difficult action to understand as far as when to play strategically and often it doesn't cross your mind now you could only do that chip paying a chip action once per round so in a three player game you could do it three times but you can only do it once per round so once you've used that option that chip is burned it does not count in your scoring phase and um, your ability to use that action is uh, completed. You cannot do it again. It's completely exhausted. And so once the last chip gets taken, we're going to go ahead and move to the scoring phase. Now, the black chips are worth 100 points each. The yellows are worth 50. The greens are a variable worth depending on how many you get. First step is determine who got the most reds, who got the most blues. We pass out those tokens to whoever got the most. If there's a tie, we will not pass that token out at all. So from there we count our points up and write them down somewhere, preferably a piece of paper uh, where everybody can see what the running scores are and we'll go ahead and score those now. So we got 755 by player one, we're counting player twos up. And the reference for how many points uh, that these chips are worth will be on uh, that reference to, uh, card right there. If you want a better view of it, there's a how-to PDF on Board Game Geek under the Tomodaka page. Uh, if you click on that, you'll get the exact uh, table for how many points each green scores, depending on how many chips that you have. So now we're going to start round two up. Uh, we're going to go ahead and shuffle and shake our bag up and uh, rummage through them and uh, start drawing chips and start laying them down. And we're going to stop once we get 18 chips on each uh, column. And you will never have more or less than 18. You can't mix or match. It has to be even 18 across the three. And you can uh, deal out and shuffle those any way you like, any way you prefer. If you want to try to uh, go in the bag and start uh, getting 18 chips out and start stacking them free handedly you can if you want to do five at a time or ten at a time or nine at a time you're also welcome to do that uh, however you depend to however you feel would be the best way to go about that you're allowed to do it's your game you administer it however you like but it's a very simple coffee house style game um, you're going to want to play it again because Somewhere along the lines, you might misjudge uh, what the other players will do with their turn. If you believe they're going to take a specific chip and that by you giving them a chip to begin your turn, 
that by the time the, the cycle gets back to you that you'll have a more advantageous position as far as taking two chips at a time you're allowed to do that if you want to pay a chip and uh, take three uh, you can determine that too, but that's where the magic of this game happens. Three simple actions, three columns full of chips. You know the point values of each chip. Blues and reds aren't really worth anything. You're really trying to get either all 11 of the green chips or as many of the green chips as possible or as many of the uh, yellow chips as possible. If somebody's greedy and specifically going for black chips, Whatever you can do to exploit that. So now the round has ended. Player 2 has started the round. So we're going to go ahead and give scoring to each player and write it down. The winner of this game will be whoever has the most points at the end of the third round since it is a three-player game. But if it is a two-player game, it would be at the end of the second round um, as far as who got the most points. Now the points are going to be higher scored on a two-player game than a three-player game because you're going to have the ability to get more chips of various colors. So it definitely plays differently at three than it does at two. So now we're going to go ahead and uh, start the third round by uh, dealing out our chips until we get 18 chips in each column. And we're trying not to look at these, trying to randomize them, but honestly, who knows what's going to happen when you administer your own game. Anything could happen. Now that we're at 11, or excuse me, 18 in each uh, of the three columns. We'll start the game off. Player t three is given a chip earlier, so now he's taking two. Sometimes uh, giving a chip, you think something will be advantageous for you, and later you'll determine that uh, the players did not cooperate with what you were thinking, and uh, you kind of messed yourself up. It happens sometimes, so we'll see what happens in this game, see who wins. But overall, um, if this game does not get on the Jim Rummy website, because uh, it's made by the same people who made Jim Rummy, uh, this is their design. Um, I think a mainstream publisher would have a good time with this game. Um, I'm not sure if they'll ever be able to get find one that wants to print it up. Uh, it falls in my category of games that can be implemented at home with um, components that you already own. Obviously, you would not want to use coins for this because coins can vary on size. You cannot kind of need to stack these uh, columns up. So definitely use poker chips. Uh, as far as finding various color poker chips, that will be a little bit harder. So now the third round has ended. We're going to tally up our scores. And um, the highest score is going to win. So it looks like player one is the overall winner. So let me discuss the pay action since I managed not to bring it up in the game it's one of the harder actions to consider oftentimes it escapes your mind that you still have it so the game is just going on um, player one is going to change his mind which side to take now player three uh, has taken his pawn off the board player one gives the pawn so now player three goes ahead and says I'm going to take uh, pay on the next move Player two takes their turn, decides to give. Now player three takes three uh, chips, and that's how you play the play action. Now, like normal, if you uh, want to meet up for some card games or find new people or post your city and say, hey, I want to play cards with somebody, let's meet up in public, but I don't have any friends that like playing cards, so let me re meet up with a random stranger. Card game meetups is the perfect place for that. We need more members, and we need more posts, so come on out. And let everybody else know about these game channels. Uh, broadcast it on your social media. Say, hey, I learned to play this interesting game here. Why don't you guys come and uh, learn some games with me? Have a perfect time, perfect weekend for it. It's great. There's never been a better time to play some card games than now. So 